is it worth to get an MPS uh, MPH after your BDS degree? Especially uh -huh. in a place in like Canada and in terms of return on investment as well. Okay. So um, I think it is always worth it if you are, um, if you have a genuine interest in the field, okay? Um, and if you're passionate about it and if you do not want to practice dentistry anymore, for me, the degree itself uh, imparted a level of knowledge and skills that I'm not sure I would have gained through experience alone. Um, and a lot of jobs also require you to have this degree as a prerequisite. So if you want to work in this field, I would suggest, yes, you get that degree. Um, and as terms of return on investment is, um, is to be considered, I own back every dollar that I spent on the fees alone in my first year of working. So not counting the tax cuts and not counting the living expenses, um, like my salary package was enough to like, it definitely covered all of my fees. Yeah. So um, if you plan to work in Canada, the returns are good, definitely. But it does not make sense to spend uh, thousands of dollars on education in Canada and then return to India and work for a salary in INR, right? right. Because in Canada, you might need, say, $3,000 to for a monthly expense, including rent and groceries and everything, and your utilities and everything else. And $3,000 into 60 is the amount of INR, but you don't need that much INR to survive in India. So um, proportionally, you are spending more, more money and then you're getting back less money if you study in Canada and then go work in India. So if you want to work in India, I would suggest study in India and then work in India and then your returns are good. But studying in Canada, working in India, your returns are not going to be that good. That makes a lot of sense. That obviously makes a lot of sense. But yeah. this is something this is something which again is a very common question because these are the first few doubts. Like we can dwell in the the rest of the things uh, in a different podcast, maybe, but about the course and everything. But these are a couple of questions just sabke man mein hota hai and everyone's really um, you know hell bent on finding out these questions. So that's why this is something which I get a lot if it's worth yeah. doing it from Canada. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so um, ha, so I, I, anyways, that acha, that another question, which is also, let's say, if a person gets into um, not even a top university, could you give us maybe a range of the fees? Because lots of people have also asked me this. Uh, what, how much would it cost to? You spoke about the cost of living, but what would be the tuition fees if someone's looking at, let's say, a range to get an MPH from Canada? It would be between eight thousand to ten thousand dollars per semester. Per semester, and there are four semesters. Five semesters. Five Some semesters. accounts one semester as well. So about anywhere between forty to fifty thousand dollars is just the fees alone, and then uh, living expenses would be between ten to twenty thousand dollars, depending on how you live. So um, it would be between ten to twenty thousand dollars per year. So you can count about seventy thousand ish dollars. <laughs> that is that, and I always recommend that if you're going in for such an investment, you should be passionate about it. Otherwise, there's no point yeah. of doing it. Definitely, yeah, I agree. 